The International Organization for Migration and the Stockholm Environment Institute conducted a study on the linkage between climate change, environmental degradation, and international labor migration, looking into migration from Cambodia and Myanmar into Thailand's sugar crane sector, and Bangladesh and Indonesia into Malaysia's palm oil sector. Here are four key findings from the study. One, climate change and environmental degradation are increasingly important drivers of international labor migration, particularly for those whose livelihoods are reliant on natural resources. Climate change and environmental degradation increasingly add to people's socio-economic struggles, with crop yields declining, disasters destroying homes and farmlands, and infrastructure projects limiting people's access to key natural resources. Two, legal migration pathways are difficult and costly to access. Countries' policies are crucial to ensure people do not migrate in distress, and to enable those who migrate to do so safely, orderly, and regularly, and find decent work abroad. Three, working and living conditions, as well as the impacts of climate change at destination, shape the viability of migration as an adaptation strategy. Migrant workers were exposed to health hazards associated with extreme heat or unable to work due to floods. Four, international labor migration may support adaptation to climate change if it enhances the well-being of migrants and their communities of origin. Migrants and their communities of origin benefited from migration through remittances. However, the social costs of migration, such as exploitation and isolation, must be addressed if migration is to unleash the full potential as adaptation strategy. Based on the findings of this study, IOM and SEI put forward three key recommendations. First, we encourage governments to adopt policies that support human well-being and that facilitate safe, regular and orderly international labour migration that is accessible for those most vulnerable, including people who are already facing severe climate impacts. Second, we encourage states to rethink the role of migration in climate change adaptation, putting human rights front and center. It is clear that migration can contribute to adaptation. However, the conditions under which people migrate whether it be regularly or irregularly, whether it be in distress or as a choice, debt burdened or not, all significantly affect the outcomes. Third, we encourage governments and businesses to ensure that all workers, including migrants, enjoy decent working and living conditions anchored on their responsibilities outlined in the UN's guiding principles on business and human rights. Support to small and medium-sized enterprises will be vital to ensure they have the capacity and financial means required to ensure labor and environmental rights protections.